What's good sports gamers and welcome to the final part of our sleeper series, our top 10 sleeper coverage outside linebackers. And if you like our videos, hit that like button to continue to help us grow this thing together. Thanks. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Coming in at number 10 is Jelani Jenkins. I had Jenkins in my CFM last year along with the next guy on the list and he balled out. This year he comes with a nice 86 hit power and 83 speed. Paired with 87 acceleration makes him a nice linebacker to run around and use the control. Because if you don't, it might get a little bit ugly for you because his man and zone coverage ratings are D-lineman-esque. Those ratings act as if he's never covered in his life and that's false. Throw the Dolphins user in your league a fifth for him and see what they say. Number 9 is PJ Dawson. Dawson, didn't he get cut by the Bengals? I swear to God. Dawson is downgraded from how he was in Madden last year because he was a quick potential. But don't let that stop you from snatching him up. He has 88 acceleration and 87 agility. They go along with 86 hit power and 88 pursuit. So he's going to take the right angles to the ball and when he gets there, he's going to lay the boom boom on the ball carrier. His only negative though is he isn't as fast as the rest of the guys on the list, but he isn't slow either. So the 23 year old is a great by low linebacker for your squad. The number 8 sleeper coverage outside linebacker is Jeremy Cash. Okay, our first speed demon who can't do much else. Well actually I'll take that back. Cash having 87 speed and 85 hit power gives you a great combo to run around and wreck havoc with. Him being a rookie and your franchise, try and go for the rookie of the year war with him. You can get a lot of XP to build him up very fast. Number seven is Kamu Gruger Hill. Did I get that right? You gotta love Madden, right? This guy's a special team, yeah, I'm about to hype him up. If there's a guy in the league who's addicted to speed everywhere, odds are he has Gruger Hill on his team. He's the fastest outside linebacker in the game, and as a 22-year rookie, he'll get more XP than cash out you go award hunting with him. And he has 70 block shed, which isn't as horrible for somebody that small and fast. Number 6 on the top 10 list is Darren Bates. Now for the shortest player on the list. His block shed and strength ratings are crap, so don't get caught by a blocker with him. But he has great speed, hit power combo, along with having above average cover ratings with 72 man and 76 zone to start you off, making him a good all around linebacker. Coming in at number 5 is Nigel Bradham. Yeah, he's an 86. Yeah, he plays for my favorite team, but how they got him now, he plays like a top 5 linebacker in the game. And he should be treated as so, so I'm going to do my part to get the word out on that. Just forget the name for a sec. 85 speed, 85 tackle, 83 block shed, 84 zone, and 83 hip power. And he's a quick potential 26 year old. Not many linebackers are fast, can cover, and tackle. And if you ask somebody to mention those linebackers, chances are Bradham would even come up. Get him now. Number four on the list is Stefan Anthony. Anthony is terrible in cover, so that'll be what you need to get up, but that's the thing. He's so good in everything else, especially if you use the control in the start, you have a beast on your hands. Other than Gruger Hill, Anthony has the highest speed, agility, and acceleration combo to go along with 85 tackle and hit power. The only thing with him is the team he plays on. It's a good chance the Saints owner will view him as their best linebacker, so you may not get him for cheap, despite his overall. But it's always worth a try. Number three is Travis Feeney. He has 87 speed and 85 hit power, most importantly starts with 75 zone coverage. So the rookie can be played by the computer or a user, and his most important physical attribute is he's 6'4". So your range user in him will be ridiculous. His block shed is about average for a linebacker, and his only negative is his super low play rec, which can be negated by, like I said, using him to start. Number two on the list, is Mark Barron. Mark Barron has always been a beast in Madden, but since his move to linebacker, I feel people just forgot about him. He of course still comes equipped with 91 hit power and 86 speed. That's basically all that should be said. But there's more. He has 77 man, 83 zone, and 81 play rec, so he can more than hold his own in zone coverage. Even though I'm sure, wasn't that the reason he got moved to linebacker? 
because he couldn't cover? Whatever. And Sports Gamers Online, number one sleeper coverage outside linebacker is Shaq Thompson. Now I know you're going another 80 rated player, but hear me out. Outside of Luke Kuechly, he is the best non-pass rushing linebacker in the league to build around. And should be the second linebacker you take in draft leagues. He's literally great in every category you could want for a linebacker. He has 78 man and 82 zone, 83 hit power, 85 play rec, 85 block shed. And to make it even crazier, he's 22 with a quick development rate. He's the 90 plus rated player in hiding. And all I can say is Panther fans, you're lucky. Got him, Cash, and Keithy on the same squad to start. It's not fair. So without a doubt, Shaq Thompson proves why he sits the top sports games online, top 10 sleeper coverage outside linebackers list. All right, people, do you agree with the list? If not, do you have somebody that's been balling for you that you think should get a shout out? Leave it in the comments. And stay tuned for more Man 17 content to come on our channel. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.